Well, let's talk about doing the right thing in relation to one of the most important stories today, which is Miss Zahari Radcliffe. Yes. Um, in a terrible condition in, in Iranian prison. What was she doing when she went to Iran? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, one of the things I, I, I want to stress is that um, uh, there is no reason why uh, Nazneen Zahari Ratcliffe should be in prison in Iran, so far as any of us know. No evidence has been produced which suggests that she should be detained. We know that the Iranian regime is capable of abusing the human rights of its own citizens. It appears here to be harming the human rights of someone who, uh, whose plight necessarily moves us all. But you say that you don't know what she was doing. Her husband is very clear that she was there on holiday with her child. Uh, well, in that case, I take exactly uh, her husband's uh, uh, assurance in that regard. So was she training journalists? Well, her husband said that she was there on holiday, and her husband is the person who should know. Her family are the people who should be in our thoughts at this time. But one of the things I just want to stress about the line of questioning, which I know that you want to go down, is that there is an effort somehow to shift attention and direction away from who is really at fault here. And it is the Iranian regime they're the people who jailed Nazanin. They're the people upon whom our focus should light. And there is no reason, and no excuse, and no justification for her detention, and she should be released. And therefore, it's very, very important for our top diplomat, the representative of this country, the Foreign Secretary, to choose his words very carefully when it comes to this regime. Do you not think that it is time for Boris Johnson to formally change what he said? He's apologised for the effect of it. He hasn't changed what he said. Well, I, th I think that uh, there's nothing the Iranian regime would like more than for the attention to be shifted off them and onto us. And I think we Thank make you. a big mistake, Andrew, if we think that the right thing to do is to blame politicians in a democracy who are trying to do the right thing well, for the plight of a woman who has been imprisoned by a regime that is a serial okay. abuser of human rights. Who's in the dock here? Iran. It should be the actions of with, their judiciary respect, and the revolutionary good, guards. With respect, that is not good enough. The Iranian judiciary are using Boris Johnson's words to take her back to, uh, to, to court and suggest that she will face another five years because of what Boris Johnson said. He is part of this story. If the Iranian judiciary want to use the words of a Democrat in order to justify an unjustifiable decision, then it is our responsibility to call them out. Let's not play their game. Let's but not those allow... words weren't right, were they? He said that he thought she was training journalists, and that has been grabbed on by extremist members of the Iranian judiciary to put her plight into an even worse position. That is his fault, surely. Whatever we as Democrats do or say, extremists will choose to deploy for their own purposes. And we play their game. If we point the finger at Democrats who are trying to do the right thing, when it's extremists who are responsible for the abuse of human rights. And so, we should be firm and resolute in making it clear, as a country, across all political parties, that it's the Iranians who are the, responsible, in particular the Iranian judiciary and the Revolutionary Guard. Do you think Joris, Boris Johnson chose his words carefully? I think that you uh, and others, and all of us have a responsibility to think carefully about who's really at fault here, and that is the Iranian regime.